M0FXB. Welcome to my unboxing of the FX4CR HF 6 meter transceiver designed by BD2FX. So this model has come from AliExpress and it was about £440. I'll show you what it comes with. Now some people do recommend that you buy this directly from you, that's BG2FX, but I couldn't find one in stock so we've got this. It took a couple of weeks to get here. And so let's take everything out of the packaging first. You can see you do get this very nice portable case here and with, an ante with a length of wire that I literally would just put into this gap here, you can be talking all around the world. It's QRP, there is no antenna tuner, but it is 20 watts. So you, know, it does, you can do a lot with that. It has a BNC connector there, as you can see. Let's get everything out and then we'll have a close look at this. So with the third generation model, you do actually get USB -C, a USB-C connector, as you can see there. Also, the DC input is your sort of traditional style, you can see here. It's that small little fan there, haven't seen that before. CW key, PTT out, USB uh, for FT8, and you've got headphones. This does have built-in Bluetooth, external speaker, the microphone that is supplied. So let's just get that out. It's one of these single pin, is it TRS? type microphones there and standard or oh, a couple of fuses that's handy and standard dc cable th that's fused as well that's got to be a good thing and even a data lead there's no battery in this device but there's your data lead and it's a really nice case the only thing they could have done because it is a lovely rugged looking case full of padding is there's no handle I think they may as well have added a handle on top, but anyway. There's actually a really good manual. It's, it is a sort of leaflet, but scrolling and looking through it, it even shows you how to do the firmware. So I, I think it's, it's actually quite a good manual. You don't want to lose it. Of course, there could be some updates. Uh, so just keep an eye out for that. Hopefully we've got the latest firmware, but if we haven't, we have instructions to do that. There's the device. It's made of machined metal. And these buttons, they're more, even though they stick out and you expect them to click, they're actually more like touch, touch buttons. And then you've got the volume, the tune to power on. I'm pretty sure you hold that down. Uh, so we've already had a quick look already, as you know, but we can look again. Phones, speaker, mic, BNC, feels solid. This, you don't feel like this is going to break if you drop it. I mean, you don't want to break it. A couple of holes there, possibly for a tripod sound, but this is thick metal. Um, and then, yeah, well, I'm interested to know how noisy the fan is. And I will plug it, I will connect it to my to my um, WSJTX to see how we go with the, with the USB-C. I don't think this has got cat control. I think you set the frequency, but you have, you know, you can use FTA and it will receive and transmit. So let's just turn it on for the first time. And as I said earlier, there is no battery. So I've just grabbed one of my standard and it's connected to about a 12 amp power supply. <coughs> we'll plug that into the side, just here. Back round, hold down power. Well, you don't really hardly touch it. And there it goes. Now that screen is, is beautiful, but it's hard to show it um, on this camera. I will try, but uh, that is a beautiful, beautiful screen. Let's get an antenna connected to it. So I'm using a 49 to 1 ballon and a, a, just a wire, 66 foot long, chucked along my fence. So I'm not expecting anything amazing. So volume just here. You can see that as you press that, you get different functions. But let's just see if we can find some activity and see the way it timed out. And um, we're in the wrong mode. We want it to get it to LSB. If you look up here, it says CWL there at the moment. And we're also seeing VFOB. So I tapped here and went to USB and then LSB. I'm seeing that if I tap the F, we're getting the bands come up. I don't think this is touchscreen. No, I didn't think it was. So we select the band turning here. If we select 80, for example, and then hit the F again, we're on 80 and then I like using 40. So 
go back to 40. You can see the, the filter changing now. I hit the F again. Nothing amazing at the moment. Now remember there's no tuner and no amplifier. Now it looks black but it's actually a dark green colour. Let's do the A and B. A and B there. And we'll just tap these. Let's go in AM, FM, CW down here. And we've got RIT. Let's tap the filter. Okay, and then you've got IF, attenuator. Oh, yeah, it's quite. Let me just get you down a bit lower. Go back F, then we'll go back to 40. Press F again. And look, I can hear someone there, it's quiet. The attenuation, just turn that off. The speaker actually sounds okay. Now, I feel like I need to keep the attenuator on. It shows on the screen here, it's showing the volume. Just here, squelch. What does that one say? Is that NR and noise blanker? Let's try the menu thing. So we'll hold down menu. And then you start to go through a very extensive list here. Which, oh, there is Bluetooth. If that works with audio, I will be showing you how. Encoder. That's interesting. Let's just press. I'm guessing that the enter button is. Press again. No. Go back, encoder. I think we'll learn later because this is just an unboxing. Okay, well you can see there's a menu there. And to back out, I press the F button. Let's hold down the power, see what happens. That's how you turn it off. We'll turn it back on. We'll see which firmware 20240602. So quite recent. I wrote down that the latest one was actually that one. 2024. That 6.2 is what I wrote down. There's your volume. If we press the volume, you've got mic gain. Press again. Press and hold. Squelch. Which you can see on the display. Okay, and then we'll do the press and hold this one, which is marked as tune. We know it tunes. I'm pretty sure if you press and hold it, it should do frequency step. Again, that's, we'll have to look at the manual for that, but on a video that Tech Minds made, that was frequency step. RIT, receive increment tuning that you're seeing here. I notice each button has bands actually written on the button 3.5, 5, 7, 10, 14, 18, up here 21, 28, 24. So it does do FM, pretty sure, for those that want to know. It probably does, I, I have to check. Well, you can actually see the signals there. Uh, that's a bit better, isn't it? It's quite, I'm getting a lot of, um, you know, with, with, with the inter attenuation turned on, I'm still getting a lot on 40 meters uh, background noise or noise floor. Let's find 40 again. We'll just go F and then 7. Normally, this time of day, I do get some good activity. So that's such a shame because I really wanted to test it. I'll just turn off my floodlight. That always has an effect on the background noise. Look how nice that screen looks. Let 
Right, well, I think that's it for the unboxing. Uh, I need to learn how to use it, basically. And just I did make some notes here on, on the device. I think I've mentioned most things. I'll put my little floodlight back on there. I'll just look at my notes, and then we'll end the video, and we'll definitely be back some more learning on. This is a two-inch screen. It has a built-in sound card. It's 3.5 to 54 megahertz, so it does do six meters. You saw the case, Bluetooth, and we're going to learn if that includes audio. Um, I'm pretty sure that's it. BG2 FX firmware is available for any updates. Quite a simple process there. No battery in this. Completely made of metal. We've already said this. Thanks for watching my just unboxing only, not learning, just unboxing only of the FX4CR transceiver ver version 3. Bye for now.